My job is to get the information to you in as an unbiased way as possible. I believe that people don't want fluff. When they tune into the newscast, they really want to know what is going on around the world that will impact me and my family. And I think when they tune into us, that's what they get. Nobody doesn't like Kaidi Tong. Nobody. She has a way of coming across on the air like she is somebody everybody would like to know and would like to have in their home. First of all, I've always said it to her, she's extraordinarily bright. Probably too smart to be a news anchor. She's, she's overqualified for the job. What impresses me is how natural she is and how sustaining every night she can bring it. Emily, what do you have? For Mr. G. She is Boing. quick, she is funny. Emily, we're gonna take it back from you right now. You're probably not aware, but your mic is not working very well. We heard every third word, maybe. How does she rank among other co-anchors? I feel like, I don't know, sixth, seventh? I'm kidding. Kylie's the best co-anchor anybody could ever, ever ask for. She's a great friend, she's fun to be around, and she's really, really good as an anchor. She's fantastic on television. I've learned a lot from her. She's really a, she's kind of the fabric of the, of the New York media world. You wouldn't know it by looking at her that she goes back to the heyday of the local news business here in New York, but she does. You listen to that station, right? Oh, all the time. You hear Scott Shannon in the morning, right? Never, I'm never. <laughs> well, I'm never up that early. That's the, old, that's the only reason. Beauty rest, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, boy, do I ever. I've worked with her 16 years, but when I was at Channel 2, I saw her uh, 30 years ago. She was at Channel 7, and I thought she was hot, sassy, funny, uh, quick, uh, spirit that you couldn't break, and then I finally got to meet her, and she was sassy, sexy, funny, and a spirit you couldn't break. Has she received any honors for her work? We've won a lot of Emmys for Best Newscast in the time that we've been together, and uh, that was mostly because of me, uh, but you know, she contributed. I think she chipped in a little bit here and there, and so she deserves, uh, she deserves that statue almost as much as I do. What do you love most about what you do? Well, just this kind of thing, meeting people and talking to people and, and being right in the thick of whatever it is that's happening. And you know, people are so friendly in New York. They really are. Do people recognize you a lot? Yes, yes. they do. Yeah. When we go out in public, everybody, everybody is just like, hey, it's Cotty Tong, hey, it's Cotty Tong. And I'm sort of, you know, from there next to her, not, not, nobody ever says, they like, hey, it's Jim Watkins, just always, hey, it's Cotty Tong. And, I, I hate that. And then I get all pumped up about that. And I go, gee, isn't that nice? They watch me. They know I'm on Channel 11. And then as they're leaving, they say, and we really, really like your husband, Maury Povich, too. Like, excuse me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no. Not a day goes by uh, in her life that she is not mistaken for Connie Chung. To the point that I think a lot of times she doesn't bother to correct the people. When they just yell out to her, hey, Connie, how's Maury doing? She goes, he's fine. On a serious note, she, she could really be touched by a story and be brought very close to tears. Kind of, I kind of think that's real as hell. I like just being on the air. I love doing things like the Miracle and the Hudson story. That was the most fun. The pilot incredibly glides that plane down into the river near 48th Street, somehow keeping it completely intact and afloat. But I actually love all of it, to tell you the truth. It's, it's just never dull. She's just been involved with so many uh, different nonprofit groups, and she's gone from the station so many times, making public appearances and emceeing events uh, with a particular focus on her own heritage, working with the uh, with the Chinese community here in New York City, and they love her. She is a she is a goddess uh, in the Chinese community, and she's always been very conscious of giving back. Always, we've done things together. I've seen her at the rescue mission. Uh, I think once she gets involved, she gets very deeply involved and uh, she doesn't even know where the camera is. She'll sit down, talk to people, and uh, loves kids. Does Kaidi have style? Kaidi never uh, worries about uh, appearance. She never uh, worries about you know how she looks. She never worries about her lighting. She never worries about her makeup. I gotta tell you one thing about working here. Hair, makeup, people to watch out for you, lighting. I wish I could carry this around with me wherever I go. Put it this way, my closet 
in my office is filled with hard clothes. I do have some designers that I love, but I don't always buy them. Like Donna Karen, of course, and Michael Kors, and uh, Calvin Klein. I love them all. You hear her coming a half a block away because she's got these heels. I don't know what the heck happens, man, but she could, be, she could be coming out of the subway and you can hear her coming. I wear so much makeup during the week. Jerry, you have no idea when they do an autopsy on me when I'm dead, all my organs are going to be covered with this beautiful shade of, of rosy beige. You got me. Oh, yeah. Um, no, Kylie likes her lighting. And then I just, oh, I'm being told my hair is, thank you. And keep doing that, Jeff, because my hair will go. Mm. First of all, this is the first I've heard that she's over 50. Honestly, she's over 50? Shh. He never said anything. There are certain people in this life that have panache. There are certain people that stay young. She's extremely sexy. Can I say that? She's extremely sexy. Age don't matter to this woman, and whoever meets her is lucky. She's fab at any age. You look fabulous. Well, thank you. Fabulous over 50. Let's just put this just way. Over 50. There are several, several more years before I can start my own website and call it sexy after 60. She has kept me laughing, you know, for the last 11 years plus, and I consider myself extremely lucky to have been able to be her co-anchor all these years. Anything else you want me to say about Watkins? 